to my channel. It is Wednesday, January 4th, 2023. I can't believe I'm saying that. It's already a new year. It's crazy. Um, it is about 10 o'clock now. I am off today. And I'm going to take you all along with me. Kind of a day in my life vlog. Um, I just woke up about an hour and a half ago. Just kind of relaxed in bed because it's raining out. It's just really peaceful right now. And... I just did my quiet time, read my devotional, read my Bible a little bit, and made some coffee. Um, I'm about to read a little bit of my Harry Potter book, just because it makes me happy. Um, I gotta do some laundry today. Um, I'm probably gonna go to the gym before lunchtime, because um, it's a hair wash day, so I just wanna do it all at the same time. And then, I have to go to the chiropractor later today, and then I have a Bible study group with my friends from church this afternoon. Well, this evening, I guess. So, yeah, I'm just going to take you all along with me. I'm just going to sit in bed, read a little bit, and then I'm going to get ready to go to the gym. So, I'll see you all in a little bit. Alright, y'all. It's about 10.30. I am in my truck getting ready to head to the gym um i think i'm just gonna do some just some basic leg day stuff i haven't worked out in a while um i went golfing with my dad last week and we played 18 holes so it was a lot of walking so i honestly counted that as part of my exercise and then i took my dog to the park we walked around a little bit so yeah, I'm on my way to the gym. The weather's pretty yucky, so I will probably do a check-in when I get there. I'll see y'all in a minute. So I'm in the Chick-fil-A drive through line. I thought I would take this time just to kind of give y'all a little bit more information about me. Um, I did a couple vlogs and some little short TikToks and stuff during Vlogmas. Um, but I realized that y'all don't really know that much about me. So I thought that I would kind of just talk with y'all and kind of just give y'all a little bit more info on my life. So I live in central Georgia. Um, I'm originally from Ohio. Um, I went to college in Florida. We moved around a lot. It's just, it's a lot. Um, I went to college here for veterinary technology. I have a bachelor's degree. I graduated in August of 2020 in the midst of COVID. Um, we didn't get to walk for graduation. We didn't get to do clinicals. I just did clinicals on site at my job, um, which kind of sucked. I wanted to go to the University of Georgia and do clinicals, but it just wasn't in the plans. Um, yeah, so I'm a registered veterinary technician. I took my board exam um, Thanksgiving, like the day before Thanksgiving of 2020. Um, passed on the first try. I was so excited. I studied for six months for those. Um, I was fully prepared to take them again just because everybody says how hard they are and everything. But it worked out good, so that was exciting. Um, let me see. I have a horse. I she used to show him a lot. I kind of don't anymore just because I've been so busy with work and everything. But I go up and ride him a lot and spend time up there. I learn how to rope and stuff over the summer. It's exciting. Um, I really enjoy doing that. I need to get back to it once the time changes again because it gets dark at 6 o'clock when I leave work. So, can't really do that much. Um, I love to read books. As y'all know, I have some book-related videos. I really enjoy making those. I love to read. I feel like buying books and book shopping is a different hobby of mine versus reading them like I love to read everything like that but I just love like a rainy day it's gloomy it's a little chilly just going to the bookstore and just browsing and looking for stuff that I've wanted to read for a while I try not to spend too much money because I get a little crazy um but yeah those are the basics of me I have a dog I have three cats and I have a betta fish so yeah um, I'm going to go home once I leave Chick-fil-A 
I gotta do some stuff around the house. Like I gotta do some laundry. I need to make a form for work tomorrow. And I have to go to the chiropractor at 3.30. I think I already told y'all that. Um, but yeah, it is 11.40 now. I'm still in the Chick-fil-A drive-thru. Um, but I will catch up with y'all back at home. stuff done I give y'all a little update so I've just done some laundry I took a shower obviously after the gym it was much needed um, I am going to the chiropractor in a little bit um, I just did some stuff around the house started some laundry and waiting for that to finish I reorganized my bookshelf I think I showed a little clip, um, and I took some books that I already read, but I want to keep. I took them upstairs to the attic, and I got a donation pile of the ones that I've read or just don't want anymore. So I did that. I straightened up a little bit, um, especially after the New Year. It's just a bunch of clutter and everything around, and I just, I finally had the time to do it today, so I just did it. Um, little wins at a time. I feel like because of the culture we're in now, especially with social media and everything, that everybody just thinks that you have to, you know, do these big, huge cleanouts and declutters and everything. And it's really, you don't have to do all that. I just do a little bit at a time. So like, I'll either tackle one thing a day, like I'll do my bathroom closet today, or I'll do my bedroom closet tomorrow, you know, things like that. Um, you eat an elephant one bite at a time, so. Yep, I'm going to get ready to go to the chiropractor in a little bit. I may go see my horse while I'm up there. I'm not sure. Um, it just depends on if it rains again or not. So, yeah, I just want to give you all a little update. I'm just going to probably read for a little bit before I leave. i got to leave in like 45 minutes. So, I'm just going to do that. Rest a little bit. And then get changed to go to the chiropractor. So, I'll see you all in a little bit. <laughs> Today. Hey, I had a mobile order for Jenna. Alright, let me go check this for you. Alright, I'm driving now. I just kind of want to talk to y'all for a little bit. So I got my banana nut bread, my strawberry refresher. These are my favorite when it's not cold out. They're just so good. Um, but yeah, I'm driving up the highway. I just kind of want to talk to y'all for a little bit and just kind of let y'all know the rest of the plan is for today so after the chiropractor I'm probably gonna go see my horse um it's not raining anymore so I might just stop by real quick because it's probably really muddy and I don't have the right shoes on but I might do that um and come home probably just chill out for a little bit eat some dinner it's three o'clock right now and then I'm um, at seven o'clock tonight we have our women's bible study group at my friend Allie's house so that's what I'm gonna be doing there I might stop at the mall on the way home just to kind of look I want to look at the bookstore a little bit I don't need anything it just makes me happy um, but yeah tomorrow I go back to work um, I'm probably gonna try to do a vlog soon um, kind of like a day in my life is a vet tech type thing I mean obviously I can't show a bunch of content with like the patient privacy rights of their pets and stuff but I'll try to get some footage that I can because we haven't been as busy lately so I might be able to actually get some more footage at work um and then I don't really have any plans this weekend I don't think we just want to church and then probably gonna ride but Monday is the national championship game for college football it is gonna be Georgia versus TCU go dogs um I'm really excited for that um for the Peach Bowl, I stayed up until I think the game was over at like the stroke of midnight with the horrendous kick by Ohio State. Um, and I was so wound up.
wound up from that. I didn't go to bed until like two o'clock and I haven't stayed up that late in years. Like I'm 27, so I haven't stayed up that late just for fun since probably I was like 22 years old. Um, but I've read nothing and go dogs. And yeah, um, I might run to the store up here if I have time, just get a couple things. I don't need anything like right now. I just like to get stuff when I have time so I don't feel pressured or anything. Like when I'm running out of stuff, I'm like, oh my gosh, I have to go to the store right now. Um, but yeah, I'm probably going to do that and then come home and just kind of chill out for a little bit. So I'll see y'all in a little bit. Okay, y'all. So I'm still driving, but I just thought I'd kind of talk to y'all a little bit about when I went to the gym today. So this is the first time I went to the gym probably in... I told y'all this earlier but probably like eight months because I went through you know a gym girly kick for a while um in the spring of last year I just kind of got burnt out on it because I was just doing it so hard so often I think I pushed myself too fast and I just really didn't enjoy it so I took my time this morning as y'all saw I did my morning routine just kind of relaxed read and chilled and then I felt a lot more motivated to go to the gym Especially when I'm not like tired if I go after work or if I'm rushing and you know trying to get to work on time I can hardly ever get up in the morning period so trying to go to the gym is just not in the cards for me at this point um, that is one of my new year's resolutions though is to try to work on that but anyway the point of the story is I was listening to Hannah Elise's new podcast I think it's like the digital diary she just started it and the topic was the timing is never gonna be right. And at first I was kinda like, I listened to it just cause I love Hannah Elise, I love her YouTube videos, everything like that. But what she said really stuck with me. It was kinda like, you know, we always wait to take chances for, you know, when the time is right or when I feel like I'm ready or things like that. And she was just talking about how the time, there will never be a right time. And that part kinda stuck with me partially. So. Um, she had more of a secular world take on it and I kind of just wanted to get my thoughts on it. So like I really love what she said, but I feel like when they say there is no right time, like there really isn't a right time per se, but I do feel like that God's time is always perfect. So I feel like in the terms of time, like, oh, the time is never right, meaning our time, like my time, your time, anyone else's time on this earth is never going to be right because it's in God's time. And I don't know, it just really inspired me today just to kind of give myself some grace and a break and because I am my own worst critic, I am very harsh on myself. I, I wouldn't say I'm a perfectionist. I just don't like getting out of my comfort zone very often um, as far as like being a homebody and just my job like I love what I do but I'm comfortable there so like when I first started like I was new obviously I didn't know anything but I've been doing this for like six or seven years now so like it's kind of just routine at this point um but yeah I really liked what she said just because you know the time to do anything is never going to be the right time like we always just keep waiting and the years go by and we just keep waiting for the right time and I don't know it just really stuck with me because I feel like especially in the new year it's important to just remember that timing isn't always the driving factor for things and I think that's important to remember because to me that helps me feel better I know some people that's kind of like not what they want to hear but to me as someone with anxiety and always likes to pre-plan stuff that makes me feel a lot better so I just wanted to share my thoughts on that, so, yeah. Hey, y'all, I'm outside just reading my book. Um, I just want to give y'all a little update. I'm out reading the Prisoner of Azkaban. Um, so, occasionally when I read books, like, especially Harry Potter, I don't binge the series. Like, I'll read, like, a book here and there because I, I like to savor it. Like, this book is just, like, this, especially the series is so special to me. Like, I don't like binging them all in once because then I feel like I'm sad because it's over if that makes sense but like I read um two of them last year but I read them like nine months apart so yeah 
I'm just sitting outside right now because the weather's pretty nice, reading my book, and I'm going to go to my friend's house in a little bit, but I'm going to eat dinner first. I'm not sure what I'm going to have yet, but yep. Yeah. See you in a little bit. Hey y'all, I just got home from Bible study. It's about 10 o'clock, so I'm probably just going to head to bed. I'm going to end the vlog here. Um, I'm just watching some YouTube videos. Um, Bible study was good. We had a bunch of new girls join, which is exciting. Um, but yeah, I'm pretty tired. I got to go to work tomorrow. So I'm going to end the vlog here. Thank y'all so much for watching. I hope you like and subscribe to stick around. Um, you can leave a comment if you have any New Year's plans or anything in the bottom. I will link my leggings in the description box because I'm sure people are going to ask about those. So yeah, I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.